Sociology of ignorance. What is it? It is how we structure, how we know, how we don't know about knowledge, about information, about data. How we structure our ignorance, our non-knowledge, our unknowledge. Well, that is quite interesting because most of power may be based on ignorance. All psychological operations are based on ignorance. You don't need to inform the crowd of certain operations. There's a certain notion of secrecy. There is the regulamentation of data in various departments. Regulamentation in corporations. Need to know. What do you need to know? Do you need to know everything? You probably don't. But a well-informed citizen should know a lot. So, the less you know, the more you live in the present, the more blind you are, the more probable that you're fucked in the ass. So, in this guiding quote from Routledge International Handbooks, this is a handbook on ignorance studies, not ignorance, but ignorance of ignorance is the death of knowledge. Now, some types of ignorance that I really like may be found here. So, this is an example of corporate ignorance, but it may be extended to other domains of life. Now, I graduated a long time ago. I studied intelligence studies. That was the only civilian curse in Europe that allowed people to study intelligence, whether open intelligence, whether history of intelligence, with the military intelligence, apart from international politics. That was a long, long time ago. But it equipped me with skills to hate intelligence, to love open society, and to know that it is necessary. So, the sources of ignorance, absence of knowledge, unknown, unknown, ignorance that is beyond anticipation, recognized in high-risk sectors where they are known as angs, angs. So we don't know, we don't know. This knowledge may be existent, but we have no idea. And it is not within our cognition to know that we don't know. No one knows. The things we know we don't know. The intellectual human humility. The apophatia of it all. A known incompleteness of knowledge at various levels of organization. So, we may speculate about certain things, we may make plans and expert political judgments, we may have multiple models, but we know what we don't know, and on this basis we structure our ignorance in order to know it or to approximate it, right? Now, ignorance about existing knowledge. Hmm, we have a book somewhere in the library, but we don't know that this book exists, that it may give us some answers. We don't know that. We don't even know what we are looking for. Knowable known unknowns. Knowledge that is not central. Ta -da -da. So we know that we know that we don't know something, but we don't need it, for example. Maybe it's superficial. Maybe we don't want to hear these stories about aliens and pyramids. Maybe that is completely false, and most likely it is. We don't need it. Maybe I don't need to know that there is a bacteria on that particular shelf. I know that I know that I don't know it and I don't want to know it. Now, unknown knowns, unrecognized tacit knowledge. So we may have things in our skills, in our routine. We may have knowledge that we don't recall in our memory at that very moment. We may forget things. We may recall things. And these are unknown knowns. We don't know we know it, but we know it somehow, and sometimes we may recall it. Now, errors, cognitive biases, cognitive errors, mistakes caused by human error or system failures, another one. Now, here comes the ethics, the ethics in science and politics and all that. We don't pursue certain scientific accomplishments or technologies because we know they are unethical and they must be regulated. Some people went crazy about, let's say, chemtrails. There was a project of casting silver ionized little 
particles back in the 60s, spreading them to stop global warming. But this was an isolated project, but on human imagination, it was prolonged into, oh, they're poisoning us and all that and all that and all that, blah, blah, blah. Well, this is untrue. There was a project like that. Most people don't know about it because it was top secret, confidential. However, now it is over and most educated, specialized people know about it. But people in the conspiracy theories still believe in chemtrails. Got it? Now, taboos, organizational cultures can evolve certain behaviors, clean and unclean, the old taboo principle, behaviors or knowledge taboo. Don't touch that. This is dangerous. This may cause some political trouble. This may cause some societal madness and chaos. Another ignorance from suppressing knowledge, denials, active denials, passive denials of knowledge. You don't admit that you walk on some top secret weapon, right? You may, you may not. You deny to preserve your uh, political whitewashing to wash your hands. And they say, hey, we caught you red handed. And this guy says, no, I didn't. Although he knows he's done it, but he denies it for the purpose of uh, political public relations, for the sake of preserving this, that. And that's a question of auditing and so on and so on. You may catch, I don't know, Trump uh, on doing the most serious crimes, frauds and all that. And he says, no, I didn't do it. And if the masses believe that guy, that is political technology of manipulating the masses. The guy done it, it's completely insane, but the masses protect him as a charismatic leader, for example. Secrecy, trade secrets and all that. There is secrecy. However, these are things that are very complex. And uh, I wouldn't go as far as to say there are uh, hidden agendas and conspirations. You know, conspiracy. I was participating in a conspiracy with, with a friend of mine. When I was 14 years old, we said, hey, we go to that place and we steal some booze. That was a conspiracy that was lasting. Imagine tons of such conspiracies happening every day. And the larger they get in a, in a society, in a group, the more they are prone to be unveiled, to be seen, to be discovered, and so on and so on. They compete with each other. These are just social vested networks of interests, of power, finances, technologies, societal ideologies, and all that. Conspiracies exist, but most of conspiracy believers and people triggered by them are inept politically. They are disenfranchised, and if they believe in a conspiracy, they should gather some political backing in order to prove it that they are right, or hopefully not deluding them into some canon bullshit or something like that. Uh, privacy, so confidentiality agreements and all that, we, we all need privacy, right? Given that everything is so valid now, political credits, CCTV, uh, artificial intelligent uh, monitoring of, of citizens, so much for privacy. Well, you need to find this little area of freedom that you have, whether here or up there, metaphysics is the domain of the free. And then pretend that you have privacy. You can have privacy amongst friends and societies when it comes to when, when uh, really, if you're a dissident, you're like an open book to read when it comes to effective work. It's very difficult. So that's the typology of organizational ignorance. And I hope I explained uh, quite a lot on the knowledge basis, knowledge, data, factors, information. Yeah. Have fun. Educate yourselves, critical thinking skills, leader leadership skills. You want to change something, do it. I was erased as a political liability at some point.